Hello and welcome to Adam and Craig Do Stuff, where today we're doing Halloween at Port Aventura. Since the first time we came to Port Ventura, we've always said if we come back, we've got to do it for Halloween. Because last time we came, we saw them setting up for Halloween, but we just missed it. And it just looked amazing. So we thought mm. we definitely have yeah. to do Halloween if we come back. Yeah, we came mid-September, so they were just uh, putting the theming up slowly. And uh, yeah. every day, like, more and more appeared. And we were just like, oh, this looks amazing. Yeah, <laughs> it really did. And I think um, it started it start last weekend. Yeah. Yeah, it's so this is, this is the last weekend of September. So the second to last weekend of September is probably when they're going to start it, if you ever want to come and do a uh, Pop and Halloween. Mm -hmm. But it's definitely um, on by the last weekend. Yeah, definitely on by the last weekend. Um, but the level of Halloweenery here is amazing, isn't it? Mm. All over the park. More ha Halloweenery than I've ever seen yeah. in the attractions we've done back mm. home. I think the theme park certainly. I think back home the closest to it is probably Chesington because they're pretty yeah. good at the Halloweenery. Yeah. Um, it's like Towers, obviously, it's all just down the um, down Tower Street, isn't it? Yeah. Whereas this is everywhere. It's all over the park, mm. isn't it? It's literally everywhere. Yeah, even in our hotel. They've got the Halloween around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like in the restaurant, yeah. they've put yeah. like skeletons, haven't they? Mm. And dressed them up as um, Mexican people. And yeah, yeah. Even in the hotel, they've put Halloweenery up, which is just an amazing level. Which of detail, uh, isn't it? You'll have to watch a Halloween vlog to see that. Um, hotel but, vlog. Sorry, yeah, hotel <laughs> vlog, hotel vlog. Um, but then they've got like huge, massive statues um, here. Models, huge, massive. yeah, not <laughs> huge or massive, no, specifically both, yeah. huge, massive, um, which are really good for like taking mm. photos with. They've got like quite a lot of selfie spots, haven't they? Mm. A lot of photo points yeah. with the Halloweenery here. It looks really good. Yeah, looks really good. And um, they've got Roman actors, which I've seen quite a few of so quite far. Quite a lot, quite yeah, a lot. Quite of a lot. Actors, actually. Mm. Mm. Um, now there's five. That's ten. There's five passages of terror uh, or scare mazes uh, here, and there is one scare zone, isn't there? Yeah, yeah. Um, so don't you don't need a ticket for the scare zone. Um, you do need tickets, obviously, for the scare mazes, passages of terror. Um, this one behind us is. Am I pointing um, at it because the sun's in me? <laughs> uh, Isla La Ma Maltida. Yeah. Um, See which, entrance just there. Uh, which goes through the um, Caribi Water Park, which is the only one that you can buy Express Pass for because it's only open for two hours mm. because this is, uh, this is outdoor and the others look to be indoor, don't mm -hmm. they? Apart from yeah. the scare zone. Yeah. Um, so we'll do that later. We've got Express Pass for that later. Now the Passage of Terror, I'm trying to remember the names. They've got Horror in Texas, which is always here. Yeah, and we did that last time we, did we that were last here. time, but I don't really remember a lot of that. No, so. I don't remember anything no. from that. There is Wreck, which is their sort of staple uh, Halloween maze based on the film Wreck uh, or Quarantine as it was remade in America. And then we've got uh, La Murta Viva, which is in the Mexican area. Mm. There is Apocalypse's Maya, which is in the Mexican area. And am I missing one more? Is there a Polynesia one? Am I making that up? How many have you just said? Horror in Texas, oh, this, this one. This one. Oh, yeah, this one right behind us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So that's all of them. Uh, so we're going to go do Horror in Texas first, because like we said, we have done it before. So we'll do that one first, and then we'll go and do the ones that are new to us. Although Horror in Texas is still fairly new to us, isn't it? Mm. Because I don't literally yeah. remember anything. And it was like over six years ago since yeah, we did it. So. I literally don't really remember anything No, about I don't remember it, a lot about so. it. But be, apart from it being quite narrow. And they thought Adam was French. That's they the did. Only thing I <laughs> they really thought remember. I was French, yeah. But there you go. So that's what we're going to go do first. <laughs> Oh, so the start of Horror in Texas, I thought was pretty tame and thought, oh yeah, this is quite a nice warm up. But by it, they really did ramp it up <laughs> as we was going through that. But, um, oh, it's not going yeah, up, 
There were uh, some really good scares. There in were there, some there? really good scares yeah. in there, but I don't know if it's because the other group that we was with, where we, we was with two other couples, I think they were pretty ballsy because they just didn't seem to react to anything. You, uh, no, no. Yeah. Like they could have been walking through a standard queue or something. Yeah, yeah, it could just, just, yeah. Like it was just a walk through a, a field. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, this is nice. I think they must have had the most fun with us in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they really, yeah. really scared us. Yeah. We were at the back as we well. We were at the so back. We were only, only in a group of six, which is not yeah. so bad, is it? That's no, strange, but you know, no. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so and they sort of... There is quite a, a lot of space, isn't it, between each group? So they sort yeah. of around with us because we're at the back, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, and the makeup in there is really good. Yeah, it really, is really, really good. good. Yeah, really yeah. Good. There was and one person so I sat on a bed and yeah, creepy. Man. Mm. That was oh, oh. I did out. keep on seeing the same ones quite a few times. So they must have quite a few little uh, hobby holes to like crawl through and yeah, stuff. It's yeah, it's designed well, obviously, yeah. isn't it? So. That one reminds me a lot of Passage del Terror in, um, in Blackpool. Oh, does it? Yeah. Oh, I kind of get yeah. that, I kind of get that, mm. yeah. But no, I really enjoyed that yeah, one. Yeah, I literally yeah. didn't, actually, going through that, I thought um, I might start going, oh yeah, this bit, Same. I really didn't remember any mm. of it. No, Apart no. from literally the chainsaw and the tunnel at the end, mm. I literally don't uh. remember any of that, but that was really good. I really yeah. enjoyed that. Yeah, really good start to our first Halloween experience mm. in another country, yeah. So it's time now to go and do something that we've never done before, isn't it? What's that? Well, any of them. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were going to say one. Okay. Well, I think we're going to go to um, Rent now. Yeah. Because that closes that's a, first, yeah. so we want to make sure we get that in before it closes. Yeah. Um, and that's sort of the, the staple. It's been here for years, that one. And that's sort of the staple of Port Ventura Halloween, because it's a Spanish thing. So um, we're going to go do that next, I think. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I think we both need a stiff drink after wreck. Oh, I Jesus. need to stiff something, I tell yeah. you now. Christ. That was terrifying, wasn't it? That was... It was... <laughs> I, I, <laughs> it was so much fun, though. That was one of the... That's probably up there as one of the best we've done. Yeah, but it was so simple as well. It was just really simple scares, like... Jump it just like where they just jump out of a hole or it's like so a doorway. Loud. Like some of them were yeah. screaming at yeah. like, oh my god, the decibels. Mm. Um and like in terms of I mean the theming was was it was not bad. Like you could tell it was a bit weird because it's like they re they use the existing dinosaur 4D thing, don't they? Yeah. So at some bits you're walking through and there's like pterodactyls above you, which is quite yeah. weird, isn't it? <laughs> in a zombie maze. Yeah. And it's but, a bit where they play bits of the film as well, yeah. uh, those scenes from the film. I mean, I've never seen the film before, so I don't know what it's about. It's really gory, so we've never watched it. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and they've got animatronics in there as well. Like, not yeah. not quite on the same level as good as the Extreme Scream animatronics, but no. um, they, def they, I mean, they add an extra scare, don't they? They do, yeah, because sometimes you don't know if it's a person or if it's an animatronic. And the very first person we saw, both of us thought it was fake. It didn't was we? so dark, and yeah. because they've got so much makeup on, mm. it was—he he kind of looked plastic. Didn't he? I think he yeah. had a helmet on, mm. and then he was caked in like zombie makeup, so he kind of looked plastic. So yeah. we couldn't tell until, and he waited until us, didn't he? Yeah, that's and why that's we didn't think he was real. Two things I've noticed: because one is that they are good at working the entire. I mean, there's only six of us, but they don't mm. like. It's not like the f first people through you get all the scares. Like no. They yeah. make sure that the yeah. in the middle and the back it get plenty of scares. Yeah, they're as really well. good at that. And like you said in the last one, the way they work that space, mm. because I'm pretty sure some of them that were scaring us at the end were from the beginning. They were. There was one girl. You who, obviously must go round yeah. and follow, like back parallel. There was one girl who kept on coming back, and I think she even broke character and like genuinely laughed at me. Oh really? Yeah. Um, yeah. I think because I know they were like laughing in character, weren't they? Yeah, like, they were. Sort of they were laughing, but I think she actually broke character and laughed at me. Yeah, the way she, because the way again, she got like, me. I mean, the, the people in front of us were like being scared, but I mean, the, we jumped. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we, we jumped hardcore. Yeah. And they they were nowhere near nowhere near our level. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. At least they were jumping this time, and like the first ones in Horror in Texas, who yeah. just was not reacting to any of it. Oh, with that. <laughs> That was unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. That was just so, so good. The amount of scares and the intensity of yeah. the scares in there. And they're just, and that, oh, they're just so good. Mm. And that was, I didn't know what to expect, but that, any expectation I did have, that has like blown mm. it out of the water. That was just, 
insane and the way they follow you and yeah. the way they are really really top uh, quality act, scare actors in there um, and we only waited about 20 minutes for that we like, did yeah because yeah, really yeah. I know like Paul Ventura and Q's are like terrible mm. um, but that was less than 20 minutes and that's not too bad yeah. hopefully the others won't be too bad as well and there was even if, a oh, sorry go on. I tell you now if the other others are on the level mm. of that <laughs> I don't know if I'll make it through the night there was even a scene where there was a, an actor that was wearing nothing but a really tight pair of white boxer shorts I missed this you missed it he was painted in white and was wearing nothing but a pair of tight white boxer shorts oh I mean his face looked hideous because of the, the makeup oh, I know, here, is it? I know yeah. the one you mean, actually. Yeah, the, the mask on. Like, yeah. yeah, and a long wig. I do know yeah. the one you mean, yeah. Mm. And again, like, they were very good there. At, like, they'll scare you, and then you sort of walk past, and you think, oh, they've scared us now. But they'll just, they'll then run back, won't mm. they? And yeah. So good. Mm. So, so good. I, mean, I don't want to bore you with talking, <laughs> but I just, that... We'll stop talking, it. but that was incredible. <laughs> that was so good. Where are we going to do next? What do you reckon? Um, we've got um, La Murta Viva and what's the other one we've got? Apocalypsis Maya. Yeah, both of them uh, in, in the Mexican area. Uh, yeah. And we've still got plenty of time, haven't we? Yeah, we have got a lot of time. So we've got, until we need to eat, we've got two and a half hours. So let's go do La Murta Viva mm. because I've got, I just have this inkling. Oh, something, something just rustled in the thing behind us then. I thought someone was coming to attack us. Um, yeah, we'll do La Murta Vida because I've got a feeling that Apocalypse Maya is going to be really, really good. Okay, Apocalypse. let's do that. Go on. Oh! <laughs> On our way to Mexico, we uh, accidentally stumbled across the scare zone, didn't we? Yeah, we just didn't... literally by accident, we were by walking accident. down a path, and at the end yeah. of the path, it was just there in front of us. Mm. It, was, it was either go through it or turn back and go the other way, so we were like, well, we'll yeah, go through it we'll then. Through it, yeah. That was good, wasn't it? That was fun. Yeah, that, yeah, was, yeah, really that was fun. Fun. It's the longest scare zone I've ever seen. It is quite long, mm. it's quite long. Yeah. I can't remember what it was called. I'm going to have to put it on. It's something, yeah. of the, something of the Emperor, isn't it? I can't. Mm remember but because we weren't planning to do it I didn't <laughs> I didn't check what the name was no because I kept on forgetting they've even got it yeah yeah but that was good yeah 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 the makeup and that was all good wasn't it on the uh, actors yeah in fact overall yeah the makeup mm. was really good here mm. yeah and there's loads of like smoke and there's like um sort of statues in there isn't it the yeah mm. um quite a long scare maze isn't it yeah definitely it's the zone you mean scare zone scare zone sorry. yeah yeah at long one as... point we thought i thought it had ended yes yeah, same I was like, oh, I'll yeah filming now i'm finished and then we were like oh no there's more yeah um, yeah but more. then to be fair like wreck was a long maze as well wasn't it yeah it was actually was a long maze. yeah and then at the end of the scare zone, there was a, a zombie dj weren't there yes yeah, yeah. throwing his the hands up depending on which way yeah you go. depending on which way you go Oh wow, another <laughs> top, top quality maze there. That yeah, was it was. Fantastic. I think 
so far that's the best one for theming so far would you say so yeah because there was a lot of props a lot of sets the one, yeah, in yeah. that one and i think in general uh dear Delos Murtos is generally just it's just a really good theme yeah it's, it's quite an easy really theme to um to theme yeah to theme <laughs> yeah to theme yeah um, it generally just is a good theme so yeah I think naturally that that mm. helped to be such a good maze i think out the ones we've done so far it was the least scariest but there were some really good scares in there but I reckon oh, I don't know. I would I would probably say that scared me more than horror in Texas. Oh, do you think? Yeah, ah, I would say that scared okay. me more than horror in Texas. There was a woman at the beginning as well who does a little <laughs> talking bit. You know, they say don't touch you, don't touch um, anything. Yeah. But I found generally like it's they don't just like put on an audio or they say don't touch any of the actors, guys. Mm. Like it's really well. Even that bit is really, really in theme. Isn't yeah, it, and it is. She was crackers. She <laughs> was bonkers, and like she was giving us scares, weren't yeah, she? Yeah, yeah. She'd like. Call her, she'd like get us, make us get really close to her, and then she'd scream at us. Yeah. Um, and then she made us crouch on, well, she made us like duck down, didn't she? And then yeah. she made us actually crawl through the entrance. Not so for we, me, she let me off. I did she? Mm. Um, so we, we kind of all, although we obviously grouped up quite quickly, we actually did the first bit on our own, didn't we? We all entered yeah. separately. Yeah. Um, I say, well, that guy with the trumpet. Oh, oh. God, yeah. Yeah. So it was like mariachi people. Yeah. It? it was quite bonkers as well, it actually, was, wasn't it? Yeah. It was just, it was chaotic. Um, but yeah, there was people dressed as like mariachi band people, and um, there was one with a violin, one with a trumpet, a very, mm. very loud trumpet. Yeah. I just, I mean, my voice is hoarse just from mm. being scared by them. So the, the level at which they are screaming yeah. at us, the volume at which they are giving us when they jump out at us, like, I don't know how they've got any voice left, to be quite honest. And they even had a mid show, didn't they? Yes. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know what it was about because it was all in no, Spanish. No, no. So that bit, the, um, the intro, like the, the safety bits, they do in English. Yeah. Um, but the, the mid the mid section was all in Spanish, and there's mm. some guy who's holding a candle to you like this. Yeah. Yeah. But that was, but that was really cool. Intensely. Whatever, whatever was, was creeping me out. Whatever she was telling us during that bit it was just really, mm. really cool. And again, like the makeup's just so good, and the costumes yeah. were. That was oh, I just love it. <laughs> nothing, nothing is. It just not been amazing, has it? No, no. So glad we did this. Mm. So unbelievable. Ah, we buggered up our planning, lads. So we missed out on Apocalypse's Maya. Um, but I've just checked the tickets and it does say that we can use them on any day of the season. So hopefully we can use that tomorrow and we'll get on it tomorrow. Yeah. Um, but it's really weird, like the timings of all the maze openings are just really odd. They all open at different times. They all, um, they open sort of like midday and then they close and then they open again later. Um, and they don't stay open until the park closes, do they? No, they Apart don't. Apart from Isla de La yeah. Maltida. I keep trying to call him. <laughs> um, Matilda. Matilda. Yeah, can you imagine if they did a Matilda Horror Maze? Matilda Horror Maze, yeah. yeah. there's Trunchbull in there. So <laughs> it's scary. It's really hard to keep track of like what's open when and when everything closes because they all close yeah. at different times. So yeah. we missed Apocalypse's Mind. We but did, we missed it like by minutes. When we got there it was five past six and it shut at six. But never fear. So we're going to go um, get something to eat and then we'll come back and we'll do Isla de La He's, oh, <laughs> God, why is it so hard to say? Maltida, um, and then we'll do Apocalypse is Maya tomorrow, tomorrow but that'll yeah. be in this vlog anyway. That's food done, so now we're on our way back to the park to do Isla de Maltida. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, I've just read the description on this one. It says it's over a thousand metres long. A thousand metres long? Yeah. Wow. And features more than 90 characters. Wow. <laughs> which is insane. That's so, so big. That's a lot of actors. That is a lot. And it's going to be a big maze. So, yeah. we're really looking forward to that, this. We'll see you on the other side. Oh, that re well, that really was a long one, wasn't it? That was long. Yeah, yeah it, was it was really long. long. Yeah, and there was lo there was loads of um, actors in there, like it yeah. said. Well, yeah. What you were saying, you noticed that um, it looks like they reuse a lot of the actors from the other mazes. Do yeah, because I, when I looked at some of their faces, some of them, even though there was in new costumes, had the still had the Day of the Dead makeup on. 
Um, and I'm pretty sure I saw one of the women from Wreck in there as well, the one that kept on getting me loads and loads. Oh, you got a better memory than I have. So mm. <laughs> Which explains why like a lot of them close early and then that one opens. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think for a lot of it, it felt more like one long scare maze. A scare zone. Scare zone. I thought exactly maze. the same. It felt like a scare um, zone. Because rather, because it was quite, because it's in the um, water park. Yeah. And Well, they do put fences up, but a lot of it is quite wide open, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, yeah. And so there was a lot of act, and there was a lot less space between groups as well. Yeah, there were uh, probably because the amount of people they had to mm. get through in two hours. Yeah. Um. So. And I did. Yeah. Oh, sorry. You carry the on. Scare, the scare actors were often sort of just already in the area, rather like not as many of them jumped out from. Yeah. A yeah. lot of them were already stood in front of. Yeah, they were. They sort of. And that's probably why I found it less scary out of all of them so far. I would say this, yeah. yeah I would say it, that's the least scary. Yeah, it was good, but I just wasn't as scared. Yeah, the atmospherics in that though yeah. were really, really mm, good. There was really loads good. of bits where we were walking through. I think we were walking through the Flume queue and there yeah. was like smoke everywhere mm. and they've got these big green lights that were creating the beams through the smoke. They had yeah. fire effects. Um, and there was that pyrotechnic that keep, kept going Oh on. yeah, and there was even a... Uh, wow! Even as, yeah, and even as you... Even as, as you passed the swimming pool, there was a scare actor on a jet ski. There was, yeah! yeah. There was one and on I even saw a... a jet a, ski in the wake yeah, pool. Yeah, and I even saw a, a one wading through the water as well. Did you? I saw a picture of that online, but I didn't actually notice yeah. anything doing it. Mm. Oh, okay. I tried to tell you. Did you? Yeah, you didn't oh, hear yeah. me. Yeah. Um, but that was really good. It was really good, yeah. Piratey theme, yeah. Isn't it? it was. Um, so it's like pirates and there were sailors and so I think it was maybe like a desert island sort of thing. Yeah, perhaps. one bit was a, a little bit voodoo-y but still quite piratey. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then there was there was a psychiatric ward. That psychiatric was, ward, yeah. And of then all the things to have yeah. on a desert island. And then there was <laughs> a psychiatric a, ward. And there was a bit where you go for a bar, but everything was themed to the Monster Energy drink. So I was thinking, I wonder if they've like sponsored, sponsored them or something. Yeah. 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 No, I did enjoy that. It was a really. Yeah. That was a really. And good then, part. as you leave, you enter like a zombie rave. Well, you start off there as well. Oh, yeah. You? So yeah. It's like sort of a bit of a hub sort of thing, mm. isn't there? Which yeah. is normally like the entrance to the water park. Yeah. And you sort of there's a DJ there and that kind of thing. Mm. That was weird. <laughs> um, yeah, so normally where you go in and there's the entrance to the water park, they've got like a DJ on and I think they were selling food as well. I don't know how long the normal queue was because they don't tell you how long the queues are for the scares and faces, do they? No. Um, no. But yeah, we expressed past that so it wasn't too bad. Sorry, that really threw me off. That was really weird. Yeah, somebody just like just stood right here in front of us and just stood there watching us. Watching us. It's really strange. Really confusing. Yeah. Anyway, that was great. We're gonna um, check out the ha the Halloween parade. We're gonna check out the nighttime lake show, and then we'll be back tomorrow to finally get on Apocalypse's Maya. Hmm. And watch some of the shows as well. And watch some of the shows. Yeah. As well. <laughs>
Oh, oh, oh God. Oh, it's not going to be fun when this ends. So the parade was really fun, wasn't it? Mm. Did you enjoy that? I did enjoy that. That was cool. Mm. Headed by uh, Woody dressed as a vampire, who yeah. we got a picture with as well earlier in the day. That yeah. was cool. Um, there was all sorts of Sesame Street characters, and um, so there, were, there was a section. There was all the ones from the um, from the um, Emperor's um, yeah. scare zone thing. Scare zone, they were yeah, all there. There was all there. And the Exorcist girl, she's funny. Mm. Um, that was really cool. And and Beetlejuice was there as well. Beetlejuice was mm. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and then we watched Horror in Largo, which is the sort of show that they do on the lake that they've got here, which was, or Lagoon, I don't know what you want to call it, but that was brilliant, mm, wasn't it? That, that was, was really, really good. Really good. Yeah. The fire, water projections, fountains, Fireworks. big Grim Reaper. Mm. There was another big float as well, wasn't there? Oh, there's yeah, a dragon. There were, a dragon, yeah. There's a dragon. Yeah. Um, and they had, though, they had jet skis and they had the guys on the sort of hoverboardy water yeah. things I don't know what no I don't know what they're called it's going right up into the air though weren't mm -hmm. they? they were diving right down mm -hmm. as well weren't they yeah I wonder how that works well it's just it's just really, really strong water jets oh wow yeah um, but yeah they were really cool mm. and just, what a finale to the day what an absolutely mm. phenomenal finale um, it's a bit hectic <laughs> when it's almost like Disney isn't it like, yeah there's just so many, so many people. people there. Like when the parade was com like coming to an end, like when the with the last float was coming, you could just see this absolute mm. ocean of people coming towards us, couldn't you? And we mm. were like, oh my god! But that was amazing. We've still got some stuff to do. We've still got Apocalypse Maya, and we've still got the, the shows. Halloween shows to shows see as well, yeah, haven't yeah, we? Yeah. Like Bang mm -hmm. Bang Halloween, and uh, some of them you can only see if you're eating. Which could we try to go and watch the. Mexican one mm. that I can't remember the name of, but that literally takes place in the La Cantina restaurant, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, and we tried to get there for it, but the queue was so big for the food that we didn't actually, we missed mm. it, didn't we? we sat down to eat, we'd missed it. Um, yeah. And you can only go and watch it if you're eating. Mm. Um, so it's a bit of a pain, that. But we'll go and see the shows that we can. We'll do Apocalypse Maya. But so far, we've done most of it, and... It's just been a, it's brilliant. Mm. What a Halloween event. I've got myself a hat. I've got myself a sugar school hat. Mm. I've absolutely loved it. So we'll see you tomorrow to mop everything up. Right, so it's the next day. We're back. We're dressed for Halloween. Yeah. And we're going to do go do Apocalypse Inspire. So we'll see you on the other side. Apocalypse. 
Apop uh, apocalypse is my, uh, apocalypse is my year. Wow. Jesus, I expected that one to not be so bad because it's a mainly outdoor one and it's daylight. Mm. But I was so wrong. <laughs> I was so wrong. That was scary. That was really scary. So good though. So good. So good. I think that is the closest one to wreck yet. Oh do you? Yeah. I would put that on par with um, Murta Viva. Would you? No, I thought that was better oh, than Murta Viva. Yeah. Yeah. I do think that one they, they did scare you a lot more than they scared me because I they, was first. Yeah. And yeah. I think they waited. Um, mm. I still got plenty, don't get me wrong, but yeah. yeah, I think they gave you a bit more than they gave to me. They did. There was one part, he jumped at me and I turned and I was like sidestepping. <laughs> I looked like one of them dancing lemurs, the sparkle <laughs> lemurs. <laughs> But yeah, that was it. Every single one has been really strong. It has. It? Really, really it has, strong. Yeah. That was just so good. And because they used they used the um, Templo del Fuego um, mm. building, which we went to see the, the Templo, Templo show, didn't we, last time last we were time, here? Last time, yeah. Absolutely really brilliant. Really good show. show. But it's um, closed so if you've been in it. there, you know what kind of stuff goes mm. on in the main room. And you walk all the way through the queue and then sort of through the indoor... Uh, the pre-show section then you walk through the actual main show building don't you yeah you do and all you know the effects mm. are on and stuff so and then that's half, really cool and then halfway through that one they give you the option to chicken out or carry on don't yeah, that they that was a weird one yeah, yeah. They don't do that in wreck after no. you've like nearly yeah. had a heart attack but i um, loved that one yeah don't do that on any of the others which was no i really enjoyed like the theming of that one as well mm. it Lies. <laughs> Again, the actors was amazing. The face paint and costumes mm. was amazing as well. That one was sort of like um, like a Mayan. Um, no. You. <laughs> it Who was like a, it was like a Mayan tribe, wasn't it? Yeah, like an but apocalypse. But then, yeah, but then they had like also um, what they called like explorers there. And nuns. Um, and nuns as well, no, nuns. Quite sure, not quite, quite sure, sure when the nuns came into it. And then there was mummies. A bit of a when hospital. You, a bit of a hospital, yeah. Yeah, yeah and then there was a mummies. Bit varied. <laughs> yeah, very varied. But yeah, brilliant but one. So, so, so good. How are mm. the effects and stuff as well? I don't quite understand, because that one doesn't open in the dark, does it? That closes no. at like, um, yeah. even on Saturday, mm. that closed at six, I think. Mm -hmm. So it still wasn't dark, and it's weird because most of it is outdoor. Yeah. Whereas all of the others are indoor, really, aren't they? Yeah. Le Murta Viva is sort of like curtained, so you get a bit of light shining through it, don't you? Mm. Um, but that's the only one that's actually outdoor, and yet, apart from when you're in the yeah. Um, but yeah, that one's quite predominantly outdoor, but it doesn't open at night, which is a bit odd. Yeah. Um, but really, really strong, and we enjoyed Rex so much that we're actually going to go and torture ourselves in yeah, again, aren't we? we? bought it again, yeah. We won't do another review, sing, but it was just chocolate. so, so, so good. Mm. Uh, we might even do um, Murta Viva again, might we? We Maybe, don't know yeah. yet, because that's open tomorrow, mm. um, all of the others are closed tomorrow. Yeah. So we're doing Rex again today, just... It's just brilliant. Yeah, and we've still got the shows, haven't we? We have. Yeah, and there's still Roman actors to look at. So we missed we missed the um, Day of the Dead show yesterday mm -hmm. in La Cantina in Mexico, so we're going to try and get that today. It's really hard because you have to buy food, so you have to time the amount, you have to get in there and queue for your food and get your food and sit down in time for it to be on, so it's yeah. really not... It's not ideal, but we're going to try and do that. That's a mistake we made yesterday. I didn't realise that there'd be such a big queue, so for, food. A big queue for food. So that, oh, that made food. us miss the uh, the show. Um, and then today we were going to go at 11 o'clock because it was early and we didn't think there'd be many people in there. And it wasn't even open, no, despite it open. saying that there's a show yeah. at 11 o'clock on the app. Yeah. Can you do? Um, and then we've got Bang Bang Halloween, bang bang which Halloween. is... We've seen the Bang Bang... Was it Bang Bang Texas Bang Bang normally? Texas, yeah, the normal one. Um, bang bang. And then they've got a ha Halloween overlay, so we'll go and watch that later, hopefully. <laughs>
Ah, oh, so we managed to get the uh, Day of the Dead show in there. That was quite nice, wasn't it? Mm. That was it good was show. good, that yeah. Was really good show. That was a really good show. Enjoyed that. Singing, dancing, acrobatics. Mm. What more can you ask for while you're eating? It was quite yeah, good, wasn't it? It was quite good, yeah. And some of the food that they do in there also has a Halloween twist, doesn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. well, some of the desserts do. Mm-hmm. Uh, well, oh, yeah, I think it is just the desserts, just the actually, desserts, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, no, actually, they had some loaded chips, and they came with they like they dyed the yeah they dyed the cheese red. sauce really red yeah like so red. Like mm. um, so yeah, that's quite cool. They've got Halloween food as well. Um, I tried the the green rice pudding yesterday, but it had yeah, cinnamon in it, cinnamon so it wasn't a yeah. fan. And then um, I had a, a chocolate burrito, which was nice, and it came with um, Halloween sprinkles. Yeah, that's mm. quite nice. That's cool. But yeah, it's quite a nice place to eat, isn't it? And mm. that show was great, wasn't it? It was great, yeah. You just have to time it yeah. right so you can actually watch it. Yeah. Shattered, lads. Absolutely shattered. We've seen the parade twice now, haven't we? We have seen the parade tra- twice. Yeah, it's a really fun parade, the Halloween one, isn't it? So, so good. Yeah, yeah. We're different both days. Well, we've, we've sort of seen it three times, but let's yeah. not go there. <laughs> it gets shorter each day. I think it, it's mm. longer on the busiest days. Yeah, so Saturday yeah. there was there was a lot more a in lot there. A lot more, yeah. Um, and then Sunday there was slightly, slightly. there was a few bits missing, wasn't mm. there? Um, and then on the Monday, because it's a weekday, there was there was a lot less, wasn't there? Less. But it was a really good parade, really fun parade. Mm. It's and the the music to it. Oh, the <laughs> music to it. Do you know what I've been singing it around the park? It's so good. I tell you what, <laughs> yeah. Port Ventura because Port Ventura create a lot of their own music, and they yeah. are dropping bangers out here. They really are. It's on loop constantly. Yeah, yeah. It's only a short song. I mean, the the, mo- loop at the whole parade. Obviously, most of it is in Spanish, so we're just sort of like da 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 part. Aventura. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> and then there's a bit at the end where they say mm. Halloween to hey Halloween. <laughs> really gets in your head because it's such a short song it's probably only like a minute long yeah. or something is it well, it doesn't seem that long so as the parades go in like they play it about 20 times mm-hmm. don't they i feel sorry for the staff because like they probably get sick of it by yeah, the halloween season because yeah. it's not even like they just hear yeah. it like every night like they hear it like 20 times a night mm-hmm. don't they for yeah. like the whole halloween season and i don't know whether it's d- a different every year or what but god bless them it must do their nutting it's such a catchy song. I absolutely love it. It was so much fun. <laughs> that is a tip for the parade. Get a spot You early. need to get there early. Yeah. You really need to get there Because we, like, on Saturday we arrived there for the time of the parade and there was, it, we struggled to get a spot. Just chaos. The next day we sort of, we learned, didn't we? We got yeah. there a bit early. It wasn't as busy, but we had to get there, like, what, half an hour early, I think? Yeah, we did. To get a spot. But that's mainly for the horror and a lago horror in a lego show yeah on the lake um and that is a stunning show isn't it absolutely, absolutely phenomenal yeah there's so much going on there and the fact as well like in the finale they've got it all going on together so yeah. they've got the water the water fountains the fireworks the jet skis and the um the hover men which i imagine in this country you wouldn't in the uk you wouldn't get that past health and safety would you <laughs> no, yeah. i just i, I like can't the imagine them being up there on their little water jet well, things whilst the fireworks are going, yeah. are going off. I can't imagine um, us letting them get away with that, but I'm so happy that they can mm. hear because it was just great, wasn't it? It was yeah. such a good finale. It's such a good end to the night. Chaotic end to the night because mm. of how many people are there, but it's so, so good. So good, yeah. So good. The entertainment here is just fantastic mm-hmm. isn't it it is and it's everywhere it's hard to catch it all it really yeah. is and we also went to, we went to see bang bang halloween didn't we yes that was really good we've already seen the normal bang bang west but this obviously has got a halloween spin to it mm. um, which i think i mean i don't because it was so long ago that we went to watch it i don't remember a lot of it but i think it was basically the same story um, i can't remember the story last time i think I well just, it's only because when we were watching it i was like mm, this, this seems familiar i think mm. in the other one there was a bad guy who was like trying to steal the gold and they were locking the gold in the vault whereas in this Uh, one it was Beetlejuice yeah why not Um, and he was like he had that sort of book didn't he yeah which I'm assuming was some sort of like yeah book to to summon the dead or something again because it's in Spanish, you would, would mm. you know, you sort of have to guess the story from the um, the gestures, yeah. don't you? So he makes them so. into like a mummy mate, a vampire, a werewolf, a zombie. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. And, and it was just, I know the stunts were the same from the normal one, Bang Bang West. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then they was all in the parade as well, weren't they? Everyone from Bang Bang West, uh, Bang Bang Halloween, yes, was in the parade. Yes, they were. Yeah, mm. yeah, yeah. And the guy who did Hell, uh, who does Beetlejuice, was really good at doing it in Bang Bang Halloween. He was really he good. Had, yeah, like, the mannerisms of Beetlejuice down to a And they had, the the mummy was jumping out of people <laughs> as you walked in, wasn't yeah, he? Like, he jumped I like out of us. Um, and they've got the, there's a guy who's quite camp at the start who sort mm. of gets the crowd going and um, he made two women propose to their boyfriends didn't yeah, he, he like, did, yeah. just forced them to propose in front of everyone it was a bit <laughs> I don't have to go through the wedding now <laughs> yeah, yeah that was really cool um, and we even went and did um, Rec and um, Le Mute at Viva again didn't we twice because, yeah because we liked them so much no, well you did them again once yeah, yeah. So we went through them again because they were just they mm. were so so good. And when we did the second one, uh, Le Mer- Le Mer- to Viva. Yeah, on yeah, it was just the two of us. They yeah, said it was yeah. Just the two of Cause us. Because we did this, we did that on the Monday. So yeah. on Monday they only have two mazes open, and I mm-hmm. think they check. It's really confusing. The the schedule's really complicated, but it looks like they only have two mazes open weekdays. Um, and on Monday it was Horror in Texas and Le Mer- to Viva. So we did La Murta Viva and it wasn't like it wasn't busy at all, was no, it? Like there was no queue for most of the day. So they um they sent us in just the two of us and we got abused, didn't we? Mm, that was yeah. so much I mean the first run through was good, but the second run through with just the two of us was absolutely insane, wasn't yeah, it? It was, it was. so, so it was scary. Brilliant. So so good. Oh, I just love it. I've got hats. I've got myself a little mm-hmm. sugar school hat because and I just I've got the t shirt. 
I've mm-hmm. just loved Halloween here so, so, yeah, so much. Yeah, so glad we came and did it. Like, and this is the, so glad we came and did it. This is the start to our Halloween season. So mm-hmm. now, like, the UK attractions have got a lot to mm-hmm. live up to, haven't they? Yeah. And we've got some good ones coming up. But, I mean, in, in terms of the theme parks, like, I can't imagine anything beating that. No. Wreck, no. the first run through on Wreck was one of the scariest things I've ever done. Yeah. It was just so, so, so scary. There were so many jump scares in there. It was so good. Mm. I absolutely loved it. I'm so glad we did this. It's I'm been amazing. So glad we did it. It's been on our bucket list for mm. years, hasn't it? Mm. So do subscribe if you're into a spook because we'll doing, be doing plenty throughout October. Uh, thank you for watching and we will see you next time we do stuff.